Oh, hi. I'm Master Albus. Of the Gentle Order. There's a problem that faces many SWOTOR players that I'm here to address today. The problem I speak of is, of course, the Green Matrix Shard of Planet Belsavis. In order to save many countless players, many countless hours of scavenging time, yours truly has put together this video, complete with special effects. Has this ever happened to you? You're out on Planet Belsavis and come across the Green Matrix Shard. Where is it? I've been looking for seven hours and I can't find this last Regatta Energy Cube. Where is it? What are you looking at? Well, no worries, my fellow Jedi, and other Swotor playing peeps, because good old Master Aldous is here to save you from hours of wasted time and frustration. I swear it on the highest Jedi authority, Grand Master Satil Shan. Wow. That's a really, really good shot of Satil. Inner tight. Clingy. Grandmaster robe. Well, anyways, this Datacron's actually a lot easier to get than most people give it credit for. As it turns out, the needed Ricotta Matrix Energy Cubes, pictured here, respawn after exactly one minute and sometimes in the same location but in only eight different locations. Let's have a look in game, shall we? Volume check, volume check, one, two, three. Volume check, volume check, one, two, three. This area is multifactional and to show you the eight locations as we mentioned earlier I will be using my level 41 Sith Juggernaut Amadeo. This area is known as the tomb. There's a better picture of the map. This main area is the only one that we'll be using. The first one of these Rakata Matrix Energy Cubes spawns just around the corner here. This is the spawn of the first location. It's ironically the 23rd cube I found and the last one I need for filming purposes. Looks like somebody else might need it.
Note our location on the map. Just to the south of us is that lava pool we passed over. There are two over to the west, and a bit to the north. And before the edits, this is the first one I've found on our little hunt here. It's relatively quick, but it has a bad reputation for taking a while. I've known plenty of people who have sat around for hours on end. Now it's important to remember though, when you pick up one of these, sometimes I can go in the same location again. The reason I'm using this character is because my primary and secondary have already done this, and once you have unlocked the Belsavis Green Matrix Shard and gotten it, you cannot pick these holographic cubes up again. It's a handy roleplay activity that I use with a lot of my Padawans. If you look carefully just to the south and to the west of me, my present location, you'll see where we just were. The next one is just up here and around the corner. Here is the third spawn. Our fourth possible spawn location is to the northeast of our third. And here's our fourth location. Just remember to check behind the right rocks. So from here, we'll be going a bit east, over to the far end. The fifth spawn is at the end of this eastern path, just to be at the beginning of the circle. It 
it's just in front of this rock island. I'll be visible once you get close enough. From here we'll be going a bit west and just along that curved canyon wall as soon as we get around here. We're just looking for a shipwreck. And here's our sixth location. And right up here is our sixth location. Or I'm sorry, seventh. And our final location will be much more in the middle of the map.
Just up here we have our eighth and final spawn. From here I recommend you just go back to route to the uh, spawn one. If you'll notice it's directly to the south, just along the main road. Now we're going to head down into the tomb itself and unlock the Green Matrix Belsavis, Green Matrix Shard of Belsavis. As you can see, it runs along this dotted line. You can come through it from either the north or from the south. Going now. My lord. For those of you wondering why my toolbar is empty, it's because this happens to be the same day as the level increase or early access began for the Rise of the Hut Cartel, so the maximum level's just been increased to 55. When they did that, they refunded a lot of your skill points. Hopefully I'll be able to make it down there without dying. Sophisticated alien technology built this place. There's no telling what we may face. That done, this elevator will take you down into the tomb itself. See, I have not yet allocated my skill points back.
This is the actual device itself. Now, if you don't want to see the fireworks, what, uh, meaning what happens when you open the shard, then I do suggest you stop watching here, or at least cut ahead to the final part of my video. As you can see, the shard is not active. To do so, come up here and activate these by placing a shard in each of these. Or, Rakata Energy Cube, whatever. Service is its own reward. Once all four are entered, just push the button and watch the fireworks. This concludes the in-game part of my holo guide. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna hop back out of the game right now. Accept my apology. Well, I hope that this video has been as entertaining as it has been informative for you. For the Gentle Order of Bedroom Colony, I'm Jedi Master Albus Novike. May the Force and the luck of the Gungan Gods be with you, and I'll see you all around the galaxy. Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna turn the camera off now. It's the reason to keep going on.